Fun story, swung by the coffee shop this morning to edit my video with my children going to Moana 2 last night, only to find out audio completely cut out during filming on the iPhone. Thanks, Apple. <laughs> that's fun. Anyway, so here's some footage from uh, the kids and I leaving, and then it just cuts out, so that, that it is what it is. Just leaving the theater, heading to the car. We're going to give our thoughts on Moana 2. Okay, race, you love. I'm gonna Three. Kill you. I'm going to kill you. Two. Absolutely. Nine, one. What an idiot. Whoa! We're just getting back from Moana 2. What did we think? Ten, oh, actually, um, I raised. <laughs> Since the kids aren't here to give you their opinions, let me give you the quick summary. Olivia liked it. My daughter, my son Connor, thought it was meh, okay at best. I'm with him. Wana 2 is uh, mid Wana. I've seen people say it feels like a Disney Plus TV series, which is what it started out as. I've heard people say it feels like one of those straight to TV slash DVD movies like Aladdin 2 or whatever. Moana 2 I don't think is bad. It's certainly a watchable film for the whole family. Kids will be engaged with the music, which isn't near as good as the first. It's colorful, it's beautiful, it's vibrant. Moana is still as lovable as ever. There's really nothing new brought to the table here. It's just kind of a formulaic, paint-by-numbers approach, and that's kind of tedious and boring for an adult man. But <laughs> I'm not, the, not really the demographic here. I'm just along for the ride. Uh, little ones are going to like this, but uh, we can aim a little higher. We're, it's Disney after all. Let's, let's put our best foot forward, not this mediocre crap. I'll have a full review on Moana 2 on the channel, so feel free to subscribe to hear that. And hopefully the audio will work on that video. Take care.